Hi Leo, welcome to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be for the full moon on October 31st and taking us through the next new moon on November 14th. Please remember these are general readings, so they may not resonate for everyone. If they do, I thank you in advance for all your support with those likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. In this reading, we're going to be taking a look at your current situation. We're going to take a peek into your near future and then the eventual outcome of the situation. And we're also going to get you some advice so that you can best utilize the energies that are going to be available to you moving forward. Then we'll close out your reading with some Oracle cards. All right, let's get started. Excuse me. <clears throat> what is the current situation that my Leos are facing? What do we want to talk about today, Leo? What is going on with my Leos? Hmm. There we go. Knight of Cups, Knight of Potions in reverse. Again, we're using Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. A, because it's apropos for the season, and B, I just love this artwork. Your situation that Spirit wants us to talk about today involves keeping your emotions to yourself. It's like you have some sort of feeling that you are trying to keep under wraps and not act on. Okay. What is the blockage here? What is the challenge that you're facing? What challenge is Leo facing in trying to subdue this feeling or emotion? We have the Four of Pentacles or Four of Presence in reverse. Hmm. You're wanting to, it's like there's two, two sides of your, your mind or your heart about this. On an emotional level, you're feeling like you should be keeping whatever this is to yourself. On a practical level, you're not wanting to limit yourself from more. You're not wanting to hold yourself back. So it's like you're trying to ride this line between what do I share and like where's my where's my comfort zone? If that makes sense. It's like you're trying to just determine Because you're not you're not wanting to to shut things out completely. It's like on the flip side of that, you're also not wanting to be too closed off or too limited. But, <clears throat> excuse me, that's coming more from like a like a general feeling that you don't want to restrict your own life. Like you just want to live your life. You don't want to hold yourself back. So that's what's causing the challenge with this particular thought or uh, no, it's not a thought. It's like a feeling or an emotion that you are trying not to act on right now. You're like, well, I, I want to live my life. I want to move forward. I don't want to hold myself back. What your focus is on is dis discerning what emotions you should be accepting into your reality right now. The Four of Potions or the Four of Cups. That's when the universe presents you with opportunity. And the intention is generally 
here's something that's good for you. Hmm. But the reaction is generally, no, I don't, I'm not interested in that. I'm not ready for that. Thanks a lot, universe. I know you say it would be good for me, but I'm, I'm comfortable where I am. And that, that really succinctly sums up this juxtaposition between the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this, this two sided on the one hand, I want to be open and accept what's new and move forward with my life and be expansive in my existence. And on the other hand, I'm feeling like, like this isn't it for me. I'm feeling like, although I, I am in a part of my life where I want to expand and grow and experience, there's this one little element in there that is rubbing you the wrong way. And what your focus is right now is on trying to patiently wait out the universe while the universe still has this, this particular Four of Cups on offer. The universe is handing you this right now, saying, would you like some of this? And you're like, no, no, no. I mean, I want to expand, universe. I want to experience. But this one, it's not, it's not resonating with me. The fact that it's in your focus so squarely, however, tells me that you're not 100% sure. So you're... I have a feeling you're kind of wondering why the universe is still holding out this as an option to you. You're saying, look, universe, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to accept new things in my life. Universe is saying, okay, here you go. And you are saying, no, not that. That's not what I wanted. So it's almost like you're in a phase of waiting out the universe and seeing like, okay, I, I pretty sure I'm going to pass on that one. And I still, hey, universe, I still want to expand. I still want more. Like, show me what else you have on offer. In your recent past, we have the Five of Potions in reverse. This is the Five of Cups in reverse. This is acceptance of a loss and moving on, emotionally speaking. In your, the energy of the environment, we have the Eight of Cups. This is walking away for your own good. Walking away from something that may be totally fine, may have brought you a lot of joy and fulfillment and happiness. However, again, in the spirit of wanting to live an expansive life, you know that the Eight of Cups isn't all that's out there. It's all that's here, hence the walking away. Going off in search of more. becoming more. In your near future, we have the Ten of Potions, Ten of Cups. You're headed to, toward a new vision for happiness for yourself. And it's not out there on some distant horizon. It's in your near future. If you don't attain some very major mark of success, emotional fulfillment. It's, it, it's maybe that you achieve like a concrete concept of what that looks like for you. It really comes into focus in a new major way for you. But I'm, I'm really feeling like for most of you, it's just like, no, Shannon, don't overthink it. It's 
This is like you're right on track. I mean, that tells me we'll see what comes up in the clarifiers. I don't want to overstep my bounds here, spirit, but it feels like saying no to this opportunity that the universe is handing you right now is exactly the right move. Almost like this is a test. Like, all right. Do, it's like the universe is handing you an opportunity to stay here with the Eight of Cups, kind of. It's like, oh, okay, here's some more. You want more, right? Here's some more. And it's testing you to see if you'll take the bait. To see if you're ready for, for like, what moreness are you ready for? I feel like that's, that's the message so far. It's not like a trick kind of a test, but it's like a necessary step of your spirit team discerning what you're ready for. So what the universe is offering you right now is either more of the same or more in the same category it's um it's here's kind of back to the same level of happiness that you're accustomed to whereas the environment is kind of hinting at hey if you if you leave this environment behind then you're going to get to the end game you're going to get to emotional fulfillment plain and simple Advice. What is the advice for Leo facing this situation? What is the advice for Leo? Let it go, let it go. Ten of needles, ten of swords. This is a belief system, a paradigm. Something's run its course and it's time to let it go. It's, it's the mental, cognitive, intellectual acceptance of something that's already gone from your life. What is the surprise energy? Something's going to come in and influence this situation and you don't see it coming. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, anyone? So we've got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, two major endings. Lots of cups going on here in your situation, which is, this is mainly happening on an emotional level for you. But the advice is mental. The advice is acceptance of an ending on a, on a cognitive level. But then we have another 10 here. The 10 in the major arcana is the Wheel of Fortune, which stands less for endings and more for this, the point at which you're on in this cycle. This coming as a surprise tells me that you don't quite grasp how everything is connected, how what's happening now, the endings that are happening now, are, are all par part of this cycle that keeps repeating over and over and over and over again. It's like ending, middle, beginning, ending, middle. No, <laughs> I'm saying that backwards. Why is that? That's weird. <laughs> beginning, middle, ending, beginning, middle, ending, beginning, middle, ending, beginning, middle, ending. And it kind of, it, it has, it echoes upward throughout the cycles. And things that may have not seemed related to you in the past of, I've went through this in my life, then I went through that in my life, and now I'm going through this new thing in my life. It's It feels like you're going to start to see those connections 
And that realization is going to turn the hands of time forward and bring in the next chapter, the next phase of everything that you need in order to break free from this this cycle that you've been working on for a long time, perhaps many lifetimes. Let's take a look at your hopes and fears. What are Leo's hopes and fears for this situation? You don't want to tell me? Do you not want me to, to call it out to all of YouTube right now? There we go. Page of Swords. This is communication. This is a message. A messenger carrying a message. Evidently, there's some sort of communication regarding what you're going through that either you know you're going to have to tell someone else or they're going to have to dis like they're going to bring it, the question to you. But either way, this is going to need to be discussed and you're both looking forward to that because you realize how necessary and like integral to your forward momentum this is going to be but you're also kind of dreading it. Eventual outcome, we have the seven of candles in reverse. This is you feeling like you don't need to be defensive anymore. Like there's no one, it, it's like the realization that there's no one coming for you. There's no bad guy who has it out for you. It's like it's like you you've got you've got your guard up and you're you're in a defensive posture throughout all of this. Guarding your heart, guarding your emotions. And this is you at the point where you you kind of the 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 fog fades away and you can see clearly like oh there's there's no one trying to fight me right now i i can i can relax everything's good i don't have to be on guard i like it Let's dig in a little bit with some clarifiers. First, we'll take a look at this Knight of Potions in reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups here in reverse? Justice in reverse. Justice in reverse is karma unresolved. Something unfair. So you're, you're keeping your emotions to yourself doesn't feel fair to you. It's like, I feel like there's two, yeah, there's like this battle going on inside of you of It's like for some reason you're you're not expressing an emotion or a feeling because you feel it's like you can't make sense of what's the right thing to do in this situation. You're trying to do the right thing. Let's see the the blockage, this four of presence.
Clarifying the Four of Presents in reverse, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this is resolution of, of a suspicion. This is secretive behavior coming into the light. It's like you're recognizing that you can't cheat fate, that you can't cheat the system, you can't cheat karma. So you don't want to just keep things stagnant. You don't want to just cling to what you've got. You want to keep moving forward. You want to keep the flow moving. You want to do what's right. You don't want to cheat the system. Clarifying the Four of Cups is the Six of Wands in reverse. Leo, I think that you're focusing on people not giving you the recognition that you crave or deserve. The universe is over here handing you this opportunity, right? Do you want it? Here it is. You want more? Here's more. And this is you saying, I'm happy with this. I'm content with my level three emotion. I don't want to level up to the fourth level of emotion right now because it doesn't fulfill me in that the way that I need to be celebrated, the way that I need to be seen and recognized and um, appreciated. I want to be on a pedestal. I want people to see how wonderful I am and treat me that way. And this represents the opposite of that. This represents something else. It doesn't feel in line with who I am or what I need. In your recent past, clarifying the Five of Cups in reverse, we have the Ace of Wands. Through this loss and reconciling that, accepting it and moving on from it, you found your spark again. You found your groove again. You are motivated and passionate and you know what you have going for you and you're ready to, like, not, not that you're ready to move forward with it. You're already moving forward with it. You have already done so. Clarifying the Eight of Cups. Yeah, what you're walking away from is the Page of Cups in reverse. A half-hearted love offer. what the universe is testing you with right now, it seems. This person is extending their cup and you are recognizing that cup belongs in this category. And this category doesn't feel like all there is. It feels like there's something more off in the distance over there. So while, while this is all fine and good and this person's intentions might be great, it's just, it's, it's more of the same and it's not what I'm looking for or needing right now. So it's looking like you're going to, you're not going to accept that offer and you're going to move on with your life toward, toward the Ten of Cups, toward bigger and better things. Clarifying the Ten of Potions, Ten of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is either you like really nurturing yourself, looking out for a number one and finding a lot of happiness in doing so, or this could be you finding your happiness and attracting in someone who has their shit together. Someone who's going to be a match for your Ten of Cups, your vision of happiness. Like when this crystallizes... It's like this person is like, oh, did you mean me? 
oh, did you mean like I've been um, on a path leading me into your life for a long time now? Now you can see me because your vision of an emotionally happy life jives with who I am as a person. So now, now we line up. Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing person. It could be a very good match for you. Queen of Pentacles is the type of person who is always looking out for everyone in their life and giving them their best. The Queen of Pentacles sees you, sees who you are, knows you, recognizes you. Like, on a deep level, they get you. And they know exactly how to act and how to behave and what, what you need, how, what to give you. They're very nurturing and very supportive. They're also independent. They're also a self-made person. So they don't need to be reliant on you. It's like the perfect mix of... being okay on their own and being there for you. Clarifying your Ten of Swords in the Advice category, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. This is the tendency to to let tepid feelings be the basis on which you act. This is saying, I'm not going to half-ass my life anymore. I'm not going to accept anything less than the best, because I deserve better. I, In the past, I've been okay with things. I've accepted... Mm, distraction as my reality. This is saying no more. Be done with that. When people enter your life, if, if, if someone entering your life, the universe is offering you someone in your life right now who is only mediocre in their interest to you, that's representing the category that you need to be closing out of your life. Mentally shutting the door on staying in this category. Like, nope, I'm not even, I recognize it for what it is. And it's this. Someone who halfway cares or halfway shows they care. This is the caring, this is the showing. It's, it's like page in reverse energy. Ugh, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you've been on a repeating cycle of this Five of Cups energy. So you have the Five of Cups in reverse in your recent past, which tells me you have at least temporarily overcome this. I think what you what the surprise is that's coming in is that you've been on this roller coaster a while and that what you're closing out right now is such a major chapter that what comes next is going to completely catch you off guard wheel of fortune turning in your favor is also like you're not going to recognize your life post wheel of fortune flip it's going to be way more positive, things falling in in line for you. It's like the universe will have built up all of this potential for you. And when you're finally moving in line with your intended path, it's like universe is like, okay, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here's this wonderful thing. Here's that wonderful thing. Here's your 10 of pentacles. Here's your queen of, uh, sorry, <laughs> ten, maybe to 10 of pentacles for some of you, but this is the 10 of cups and the queen of pentacles. Like here's, emotional fulfillment for you on an uh, of an order 
that you have not yet experienced. Page of Swords. In your hopes and fears, this message of financial dependence. There's a conversation that needs to be had that you're dreading about someone who is not um, not at the stage financially that they want to be. Some sort of advice that you need to be giving or Perhaps someone's going to be coming to you asking for financial advice or financial help. And it's not something that you're looking forward to. Like you hope that you're able to be of help, but you're also kind of like afraid of, of this conversation. Clarifying your eventual outcome with the seven of wands in reverse is the six of pentacles. You're going to be there for people. You're going to let your guard down. You're going to be able to give what's needed and you're going to be able to receive what you need. You can't do that from behind the wall. So this is you shifting from, uh, I'm, I have my guard up, everyone's, I can't really see Clearly, I can't dis discern clearly, but I kind of, I feel like I need to be, have my guard up, right? And then when you let your guard down, you can't, people can approach you, give you what you need, sense what you need, be there for you. It's like this reciprocity can come in when you let the walls down. Okay, we're going to pull you some oracle cards to close out your reading. We'll start with the Affirmators deck. What affirmation do we have for Leo? We have peacefulness. I have a peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled heart. This is where I choose to spend my time. I can bring guests, but any person, thought, or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited. My heart is a special property and I'm going to keep it that way so we can all keep enjoying it and I can get my security deposit back. Next, we're going to pull you a Power of Surrender Oracle card. What can Leo surrender? We have Surrender Denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Next, we'll get you a Fear Nothing card from the Fear Nothing Oracle deck. Buck Convention. Don't worry so much about what the right thing to do is if it's if your sense of what the right thing to do is what you should do based, based on any sort of convention, like a conventional idea of right and wrong, expectations of society or culture or relationship norms. This is saying you can totally rewrite the script. You can make your own rules here buck convention is like things that you think must be a certain way don't necessarily have to be that way okay and last we're going to pull you a making magic card we have labyrinth transition to a higher level of being raising your en energetic vibration enlightenment this feels like the the wheel of fortune message that we were talking about earlier it's going to take you by surprise this leveling up 
Nothing's going to be the way it was before. Everything's going to be new. All right, guys, this has been your reading. I hope it helped. If it did, thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Um, I will be back again leading up to the new moon on November 14th, so I hope to see you guys then. Until then, be safe and have a happy Halloween. Bye.